Okay. Hey guys, GG here. Yep. I'm your host. This is about mood as usual, along with Gear and Vagabond. And I'm Vagabond. Yep. And I don't know if I would call this orange soda it's on fire. <laughs> what's up? Wait, what's about an orange soda that's on fire? Oh, what is a little? Bit, is it like that lactate stuff that you see, like um, where the cable guy advertise, like now I can take this lactate, I don't have to worry about eating hot burn anymore. I've I've never once seen Larry the Cable Guy advertise lactate. What? Like I saw it like a couple times, like a couple years ago. I know he did like Prilosec OTC. Yeah, I think it was that. I know that's that's basically literally his entire income for for like ages. It's just him saying Prilosec OTC helps me treat heartburn and stuff, so I can I can get her done. So I guess being a cable truck doesn't pay the bills. Being a, a cable, a cable, uh, a, a, a cable guy of comedy. It's, uh, yeah. Uh, nope. Nobody, nobody thinks he's funny anymore. So uh, he's decided to go to Prilosec OTC. Well, he just puts money in his pocket. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and we're just looking at this pile of cheese here, although this... Gotta meat. cut the cheese. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I honestly don't care at this point, really. Uh, we need just need more meat up there to finish up our stupendous stew, but I'm sure that crazy bird is going after it. Let's cover with salt. That's how we treat our meal before dropping it into the stew. Extra tasty. Okay. There's a tray with a freshly ground black pepper, too. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, let's get somebody's salty tears going. That should work. Oh, wait a minute. This is definitely for what I think it is, the cheese. Yeah. Cut the cheese, Justin. Cut the cheese. That's what I'm doing. You are you're just missing all of the cheese. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes if, if there is an award for for missing for for missing your target, you you'd win the gold. Actually, no, you'd probably win the platinum medal. They'd have to invent a whole new a whole new medal for missing. Exactly. Yeah. What? So that was intentional? Yep. So he was. So it was his big brain moment to shoot all this stuff at the cheese for the crazy right so we can miss. Hey, before you before you continue, go back to that that block of cheese you were at earlier. Hi. Remember that block of cheese? Yep, I do. <laughs> hey. Cha -cha 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 Oh my god! Mm, secret door. First exit this guy. Cut, 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 cut. Oh, wait a minute, I need. Wait a minute. Don't worry, there's another one right there. Okay, now, Jude, you gotta be real careful here because the cheese is also, is also your platform. Right. You're walking on cheese, too. So be careful what kind of cheese you're cutting here. One star? <clears throat> a lot of cheese. There's a way out, but I'm way out there later. Wait a minute. Okay, that's two. I'm using three more of this, so. Yeah, only about three more to go. No, oh, dude. Uh, oh, wait, never mind. I'm being extra wait. careful. Oh, it means that. No, wait a minute, look. Uh, See? Magic.
No, what did you guys think of the, the Nintendo Direct that came for 2021? Mm. Well, 2021 Nintendo Direct. Well, first off, Jude, you kind of messed up here because you're supposed to you're supposed to jump on the top on the top of the platform, but you literally just sawed off the entire the entire uh, what what you call it? You've, you've removed the stairs because because you are grounded. Well, I'll go later. Anyway, as, uh, what were you saying? Nintendo Direct. Yeah. So, what do you guys think of the direct that happened um, a couple days ago? Overall, uh, had, had had a couple of good moments, but overall, I thought it was kind of lame. I thought it was okay. Yeah, it's good. Got Tiger and Smash. You know, that's all right. <laughs> I'm at least happy she's the new Sheik and not just a random sword fighter. She actually has actual different abilities, which is kind of cool. I thought the reveal was kind of lame, though. Yeah, yeah, like, so apparently memes are still a thing in Smash, even to this very day. Memes? Because they were memeing about Rex not getting to Smash for almost 20 years, like, almost like two years. Yeah, they, I felt really bad for, for Rex in that in that reveal. Yeah, I yeah. feel bad for him, but at least Pyra and Myth are going to be in Smash. Well, who knows? Uh, maybe the next match game, um, Rex will be called oh, as a fighter. He could be a he could be in the case. He could be a case for uh, as for Chrome. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh huh. Yeah, but there might be some characters that we don't even know that might be added to Smash yet. Um, how, how many slots are left? Like two? Yeah, I think it would be two. Yeah. Uh, mm. But yeah, Pyramithra, um, I'm not thinking, uh, I don't, are, are they playable characters? Are they like the main characters in uh, Xenoblade 2? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Oh, so, um, yeah, I don't I don't even think I want to even try Xenoblade 2 now. Damn. Uh, like, uh, uh, so, like, I did play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It's, uh, it's good, it's fun. But you gotta know what to do to make the game go a little bit faster. Once you know how to do that, it becomes fun. But most of the time, they don't really tell you how to do that. And you have to look up Chuck and Conroy playthroughs how, how to do that. Are, are you that? Are you said person who looks up Chuck and Conroy playthroughs? Yes, I did. Um, just to get back in the Subway Chronicles, I finished it years ago. And I was just having a tough time with it because I was so under level at that time. And now I'm like, oh, now the game is actually fun now because I know what I'm doing now. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we all know that. And I think I was at the beginning part of it. I'm around chapter two where Nina was rescued and all, and that was it. And I figure I should get back onto that now that the Nintendo Direct has brought it up anyway for. Well, you know. Yeah, for like Pyra and Nip to eat more waifus more to add to the Smash roster. Yep. That's the general idea. Yeah. I mean... Well, I probably actually um, censor them a bit, especially for Pyro a bit. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I was more stoked for on the direct? What? What? Stubbs the zombies back! Yeah. I'm surprised they even brought that back. Yes, they did. Yeah, uh, first off, fun fact about that game. Um, that was actually made on the Halo engine. What? Oh, really? oh the, the, the Halo Combat Evolved. Either Halo Combat Evolved or Halo 2. One of those. And Stubbs the zombie. Both share the same engine. In addition to that, I believe the soundtrack was composed by Michael Salvatore, who also composed the soundtrack to Halo 1, 2, 3, ODST, and Reach, alongside Marty O'Donnell. But yeah, I, 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 I looked up Stubbs the Zombie like a long while ago, and I was like, oh man, I should totally play this game, because I have an Xbox myself, uh, an OG Xbox. And I was wondering, and I never got around to it, and 
I, I was it wasn't even on my mind when I saw like what Stub the Zombie is being re released to PC no less, and I'm like, I'm like, ah oh, shit, dude, I should I should pre order this, I I should totally play this. So yeah. So, yeah, that, um, I'm surprised that Splatoon 3 got announced so early. I was expecting that for, like, 2023. Well, yeah, I saw, that on my, I saw that on my live stream, too. Uh, the Splatoon 3, yeah. I was not, I was not expecting a, a sequel. Yeah. But, oh, well. well. I actually, speaking yeah. of that, speaking of that, I heard... I heard, you know, you know how in Splatoon One, how they did like the Cali versus Marie thing. Yeah. Apparently, they, according to a friend of mine who plays uh, Splatoon Two, apparently they did the same thing for the for the two other ones or for the two. Uh, oh, like Pearl and Marina. Yeah. So I think there is a chance they could be doing the same plot in Splatoon Three. In addition to the it, it happening in Splatoon two. Oh, I, I get what you're saying. Um, there's a there's like a splat fest thing that comes on like every end of the game. Yeah, like I, I like that because at least it keeps the game fresh. Like for every new um title they want to do with it. Kinda, yeah. Yes, because um I think Earl one and that was like anarchy. Pearl did not deserve to win. Uh, everybody just says that. Uh, and I honestly didn't care as long as, it, as, long as the next game was going to be good. But whatever. Yeah. Um, I wonder what I wonder what, I wonder what cool new stuff they're going to do for 3. Because usually 1 and 2... Usually, usually, usually three goes goes a little bit. More. Usually, the third installment in a title or, or in a series usually goes a bit more, mm, a bit more experimental. Try, try some new stuff. Well, it seems like they're doing that because now you have like little pets following you. Might be, it might be like you know what they did with the chows from Sonic Sonic Adventure, where you like train them and whatnot hmm. and stuff. What, to bring them back a chow? They do a chow garden kind of thing? Yeah, I, I think they might do that with like the little salmon buddy you can get. Little fish. Oh. Little apocalyptic fish. Bring your apocalyptic fish buddy to find the ring. Apoca fish. Mm-hmm. I'm curious what kind of new features there'll be adding Splatoon 3, though, but I think we'll get to that information when it gets close. Well, yeah, probably next year, at least maybe like early January. Mhm. Mm Speaking of which, there's no du Nintendo Direct about the next Pokemon game yet. Uh, not yeah. anyway. People are wanting Gen Four remakes. Um, in 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 good old fashion Nintendo, we don't like our fans' fashion. I feel like they're just gonna to skip right to Gen Five remakes. Yeah, they it, it may be really bad. Mm hmm. I. Um. What else is in the direct? Uh, Metopia. Metopia was also in there. Yeah. I'm surprised memes came back. I thought they were, like, finished after the Wii U. No, the, uh, there, there's, like, a hidden feature. Or, or it, I, I say it's a hidden feature because it's in, like, the settings menu for some reason. <laughs> they didn't have it in its own separate app. Uh, Which I thought was kind of, I thought, I thought that was kind of stupid, but yeah, I, I guess I guess they're removing a lot of the functionality from Maze, but Metopia, um, I guess I, I really want to play Metopia on 3DS, but I never got around to to actually buying it. So I'm hoping I'm hoping Metopia uh, turns out to be still be pretty good on the DS, so I can probably play that. In addition, I heard some people were wanting uh, Tomodachi Life, in in uh, on the Switch. Because apparently that one actually sold pretty well. Yeah, that's pretty bad thing possible. 
Yeah. Like, I'm hoping they don't charge full price for it. If they did, then that's something I'm not going to buy yet. Well, unless it's a sequel or a remaster, but, you know, how things are with remasters, they're charged full price for remasters. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of remasters, um, Skyward Sword has been announced. Yep. Oh, yes, yeah, Sky Skyward Sword. We should play that on our channel for that. Yeah. For one, uh, you don't have to use it. If you have a Switch Lite, you don't have to worry about using the dang Joy-Con. So, hooray. Wait, I don't have a. I have a switch. I don't. I. I don't have a switch slate. Dang. Well, I think it will just work in like handheld mode like that. I don't know. Oh well. Um. Yeah, Sky Skyward Sword is the is the perfect opportunity for me to start playing more Zelda games. Mhm. Mm uh. There's a Breath of the Wild DLC. And the only announcement that they had for Breath of the Wild 2 was it's going well. You have to wait longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Curious how that sounds go. Mm, neat. Mm -hmm. I'm moving. A meat with a mustache. Who the fuck wants? Who the heck wants to meet meet with a mustache? Uh, I guess. Um. What? What's that? I'm trying to remember. Who, he's a famous eater in the UK. Oh yeah, beard or whatever. Like he eats like a lot of food fast or whatever. He's like a competitive eater. No, but no, 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 no. But I'm talking about I'm talking about meat that has an actual mustache on it, not like a decorative mustache, but like a like an actual actual full on hairy mustache. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either, but it is a little bit weird just by uh, seeing a thing of me, a mustache. And you always hate it when you have when you have like at the go to school and buy lunch from the cafeteria, and then there's like air in one of the foods that you get. Sucks. I don't think I've ever had encountered that before. I didn't encounter that either. There was a couple of times I saw like long hair and food. Hmm. Climb up the cascading magma. Rather, rather. A huge one. It basically, you have the same work with forks from being burned to death. Need a chef to cut all the cheese. Cut the cheese! But anyways, we're gonna be watching a movie. We're gonna watch a picture. Mm. Wonder if this happens on cheese. Nope. Have you ever seen Wallace and Gromit? I heard about it about the Curse of the Were Rabbit once. Like, I remember he had like a VHS or like some of the shorts. I you know, used to watch it before. I'm dead. Ah. You already died! Just this one thing. It's because of this acorn thing that's in the way. I tried rolling it and rolling it and I died in it anyway. Acorn? Yeah, the rolly thing. Look at that. That's a piece of corn. Not an acorn. My mistake. Corn, right. Well. Corn. <laughs> I will try throwing your flower flower in the opposite direction and to onto the other direction. 
Mm, Hold on, here's a better suggestion. Or, or take possession of that fire thing, that works too. Didn't explode. I'm glad I wasn't popped. Hoppity, 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 hop, hop, there. Ah, uh, wrong way. Well, you made a checkpoint, but not there yet. Well, what do you know? A way in. I remember doing this once. You just need to get the slots all corrected, or else you won't be able to get the power. Find the spot. Oh, dang! I oh. missed it. Okay, one more time. Wait for the hearts. No! God! God! Dang it! No. Oh, just, just keep trying. It'll happen eventually. <laughs> Not unless I get one of them at a time first, and I think that'll be faster. Oh, oh yeah, since um, I checked out the Leisure concert that's supposed to be coming in August. Is there also going to be um, Green Day and Fall Out Boy all in one? Yeah, uh, uh, I don't even know if I, I don't even know if I can't, I don't even, know, I don't even know if the word is even allowed. I'm allowed to say, but it, it's it's certainly a mega tour. But concerts, eh? Come to think of it, the first time when I went on to a concert was the Kingdom Hearts one, orchestra in a way. But going to different rock concerts, I think that'll be worth it. Um, yeah, so it tells me I don't know if I don't know if if Jude is going to to like uh, anything that isn't Kingdom Hearts music. I would rather just come to that music anyway, and I would rather enjoy. it. Plus, as a young child, like, I did enjoy Green Day. Do like you like rock rock music? Yeah, yeah I, I do. Guess. Well, of course I do. I enjoy it. You feel like like rock, like regular rock, when you hear it on the radio. Yeah. Well, I feel like I want to get onto some rock music anyway. I have listened to it a number of times as a child before I got into anime. Yeah, so it wouldn't be that bad. And then when anime showed up, it was all anime music. Yeah, I remember we when we went to the Kingdom Hearts concert, you you, you picked the highest seat far away from the rest of the group. Okay, that is true. That I did went on ahead and not confirmed this with you and all, and that was completely my fault. I'll admit it. But at least next time, I'm going to wait on you and see what kind of ticket you get, and then I'll be able to enter the same exact spot or right next to you, just in case. Yeah, that's what we all say together, that you don't have to wait for you to get get lost or anything. Uh, yeah, well, I learned that lesson very well, thanks to you. Well, you, you also went to a concert too. Um, you went to on the Crush Forty one and too many games. Yeah, back at too many games indeed. We enjoyed it. We all went there. Yeah, but yeah, but sorry to interrupt. But doesn't um do do, do, do concerts at conventions even count? Well, good question. Indeed, I really don't get that though. I guess we can call it like a mini concert, not like a full on concert. Mm. Eh, we'll eventually get to that concert thing anyway. As soon as this whole thing uh, clears up. Well, I won't have to decide where we're going to sit, that's the thing. I think it's all available. Okay, I'm giving up on this slot thing. It's not worth it. Uh, gambling doesn't work for everybody. 
No, it does not. And even if you get a good draw, whether it's luck or even depending on what kind of gamble you're doing, it's I don't like, even know if that's gambling. That's more. That's more just poor timing. Basically, don't gamble, kids. Don't don't make it an unhealthy obsession. Uh, I read that. That can't talk. Obsession. There you go. She. Hmm. It is poor timing that I did get. Well, well you played through um, a rhythm game before, so. Yeah. Hopefully you get it. Oh, speaking of rhythm games, I played a little bit of Persona Dancing All Night, and my god! It is like a challenge. How much challenging are we talking? Like, there's a, like, well, Kingdom Hearts is, like, easy to get into for your first little game. Persona's got to, go, like, push you a bit. Because he added an extra thing you got you can do, and that's, like, scratch. Like, you could scratch a record or whatever. But also teamed up with, with as many notes as possible. And also the grading system can be very picky. Picky? Like, the, like one good can ruin your entire run. What do you mean? It'll, it'll knock you down from, from an A to a to a C? Something like that. Oh. Huh. Oh, well, great. You just, you just prevented me from buying the Persona Dancing games. Well, like it's Thanks, really, Gear. Well, it's only if you, you like. I haven't tried out 5 or 3 yet. I think they might fix some of those problems, but I'll, I'll have to get back to you on that. Oh wait! You only tried you tried you tried Persona Four dancing. Yeah, I didn't try the other two yet. Oh. Well, either way, it's a good thing just to check on things before you start playing them. Kuka T showdown. Kuka Tayo. Oh, I can tell. Like a cockatoo, whatever. Bird. <laughs> I get that reference. <laughs> Cuckatel, cockatoo. I can't tell anything anymore. Doopy <laughs> doodly do. And eight. Mm. Nope. Oh! I died the second time. <laughs> Good thing I had the checkpoint in there or else I'd be dead. <laughs> Well, you did die. <laughs> you're, you're, you're double dead. Yeah. Hmm. Wait for the timing on Padawan. Wait for the timing. Wait for the timing. Yeah. Hey, Buddy, it didn't timing. No. <laughs> I'm a dying girl. Alright. Okay, can you make the joke? Oh, there's something better than jumping on biscuits. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am so pathetic. <laughs> oh my god. 
There he lie. He lie dead on crispy, yummy biscuits. They're just biscuits, all right? I mean, how else can I help it? Oh. I don't know. I'd rather my, my demise be a surprise. Like, like, how did he die? Oh, he died in biscuits and gravy. Ah. Well, what do you know? I got a heart. Nice. And he lost the hearts. You use the force. That's what I'm using, Obi-Wan. <laughs> use the force and jump the distance and let gravity do the work. Oh, I'll be going to the distance, all right? The distance is short. <laughs> no, I'm going to use the distance and work. What? <laughs> okay, got a checkpoint. Oh, God. No! I'm dead again. A checkpoint came in. See? That's where I'm sorry. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no! It's a straight line! It was just a straight, straight line! It's just a straight line. It can't hurt you. Well, of course it cannot hurt me. In fact, it already just... <laughs> I think I'm going too fast. Gotta go fast. Oh, yeah. Thank you for telling me that, Sonic. Hey, past cool. <laughs> okay, just remember the straight line can't hurt you no more. Except something that ain't hurt me. Like, for example, that. Okay, if that pepper can hurt you. Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> straight lines are. Uh, Obviously, they aren't. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, spiky. Spiky for a bit. Not waiting. No, 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 no. Oops. <laughs> I can't do this. You know when you're a kid and you walk on that on that line in the middle of the street to think that sharks are gonna eat you? I need it's to like that, but with lava. Everything is lava. It's all freaking lava for all I care. Need some advice from where the cable guy. Okay. Is dead. That's all I got. Oh. Sure.
Wait, uh, I got a few lives. Okay, keep going. Phew! There we go. Finally! Yeah! Second try, you owe me an ice cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll get you your ice cream as soon as this is over with. Oh, yeah, you owe, us, you owe me two ice creams, actually. Okay, fair enough. Ooh, fire, man. Okay, at this point, just take the fire enemy and just jump all the way over there. There's a better option. Oh, wait. Yeah, there's no fire enemy around. Oops. Okay, you're not dead. Yeah. Man, if Jude's having trouble here, imagine imagine the next world. Oh, please don't say anything. Next world. Seriously, man, don't jinx that. I, oh, yep, he's down. He's down. All uh, right. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> How about we stop from here and continue this next week, shall we? Okay, see you guys next time when we try to, to fight a giant bird in a fiery bolt of molten pistol. Alright then. Bye. Bye. Bye.